Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. So today, I want to share some knowledge with you guys, so stick around. Alright, so I just got this car. This is a 2023 Hyundai Tucson. It's a very nice car. So, while driving yesterday, it was raining, you know, it's Florida, so we got rain during the summer summers. We uh get a lot of rains, like every day we get rains and uh thunderstorms and stuff, heavy rain. So while driving yesterday, it was the first time driving it in the rain. Yeah, so these cars they equipped with um some sensors at the front bumpers at the front of the car so if you're getting close to anything, it will alarm you. So you have to make that beeping sound to alarm you. You're close to an object or whatnot to prevent you from hitting it. So while driving yesterday, I noticed that every time I stop, every time I come to come, I come to a complete stop. It keeps sensing that there's something in front of the car when there is clearly nothing in front of the car. So it will make this beep sound and it will go on forever until I start driving over five miles an hour. So as soon as I come to a complete stop, it will just constantly beeping. And one of the things I had to do yesterday in order to cut it off was this button right here. So the later models, model cars, they don't have it, but only the newer cars. So this, like I said, this is a 2023. So this button right here, I got to keep um, deactivating the, the feature with this button each time it comes on. But of course, it's a safety feature, so automatically it will come back on. So as soon as I come to a complete stop again, it will come back on because it's a safety feature. So it come, comes back on automatically. So I would have to constantly be pressing this button just to disengage it to cut off that annoying sound because I'll be in traffic and uh, it takes for a minute to start moving or at a traffic light or red light and it takes a few minutes for to get moving again so it's pretty annoying so I gotta keep doing this so that's one way to fix it but this is just a temporary fix so Let's stick around I'll show you how to fix this permanently yeah so one way to fix it you can take it to the dealer of course and they'll figure out what's going on with it and um but in my case I try to figure out what was going on for myself because I don't want to spend all day at dealer try to get something resolved this time is money so I come around and I inspect do a physical inspection of myself so I check the sensors so these are the sensors the one two three the four five and there's another one here six so I check the sensors I clean it off make sure there was nothing there any because dirt and those stuff it could cause it to react that way so I do a comprehensive check physical check there was nothing there blocking it and causing it to make that check, make that um. Yeah, so there was nothing there causing it to going off like that because there was clearly no object or anything. Yeah, so after a closer inspection, well, this one here. After a closer inspection here, because this little white thing right, mostly clear, the clear rubbery thing right here. What I've observed this part was the press. I don't know if um by going through the flooded roads and stuff, and an object hit it in some or the water water pressure push it back or whatnot. But whatever, this part right here, the clear part, 
it was the press so it seems like because it was the press and some in a portion of this was exposing it was giving that false reading that something was there in front of the car when there was nothing in front of the car so what I did you can use the uh, to pick something that will not dam damage this portion right here because it is very soft as you can see you know, sticking my finger into it, it's very soft so you got to make sure not to damage it so I use a toothpick and just stick it in I just take my time and till it just popped out so yeah it was simple as that <laughs> it was it's amazing that this simple thing like that could cause to give any bad reading yeah so that was it I pop this shit out and yeah that's the fix so yeah I hope that helps you if that doesn't help you you know take it to the dealer and they'll figure it out so, yeah and that was it simple as that so thanks for sticking around I hope you find this content helpful so drop a like a comment subscribe share with your friend yeah peace out